So the main thing that's happening when we are adding and subtracting polynomials is we are combining like terms. Typically, you will see these problems looking something like this. So let's write an example for adding. To zoom in so you can see that better. Our example is a, a trinomial plus a binomial where we have 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 and 3x squared plus 6. A lot of times when we're taking notes, I will show you the long way of doing things because I want you to see why things work. But this time, and I want you all to look at me because this is really important. This isn't the long way. This is the way I want you doing this, even though it will seem tedious to write them out. Okay? So it helps to do it this way, and then you won't make mistakes. If you want me to come up with reasons for this for real life, let's talk later. Right now we're recording the notes part, okay? Again, remember we're doing this, I'm getting this recorded for people who aren't here. We can have that conversation later. Okay, when you see polynomials to be added, I want you to write the first polynomial. And then I want you to take the second polynomial and line it up underneath the first one with like terms lined up. Where am I going to put this 3x? Oops, I left off the squared. Where am I going to put this 3x squared? Under the 4x squared. Where am I going to put the 6? Mm -hmm. And then there is no other term, so I could put a 0 here or a 0x to hold it. This right here is the part you don't have to do, but I find the people who put a zero here, because we found the other day in our first intro to this, zeros are important. It holds that place so we don't accidentally combine things in the wrong way. And then notice I drew my line and I put the plus sign over here to show that I'm combining these and these. Remember, a plus sign is very much just like saying and. What happens when I add these? We get 7x squared plus 2x plus 3. Questions before we go on to a subtraction example? <laughs> Was that a math joke? All right. Let's do a subtracting example. At this point, when we are adding and subtracting polynomials, it really is just like a fancier version of combining like terms. Please write down this example.
The steps are almost the same. There's one major difference when we're dealing with subtracting polynomials. We're still going to take the first polynomial and we're going to rewrite it here. But before we take the second polynomial and line it up, we have to deal with the fact that it's subtraction in the middle. What does this subtraction really mean? It means a negative one. There's two invisible things right here. What's really here is plus negative one, and then the parentheses. What does that mean? Everything in these parentheses are going to get multiplied by negative 1, and what's going to happen to them? Their signs are going to flip. So before I write this down here, underneath it, I want to rewrite this with the signs changed. Then I'm going to take these terms and I'm going to like line them up. If you think about it, subtracting polynomials is really, we're still adding them. We're just taking care of this invisible one and converting the second set before we do this part. Notice when I wrote it over here, I still drew my line. And what did I put over here? Because we're still combining our like terms. We're still putting them together. We end up with 3x squared minus 2x plus 6. We're going to do some practice problems. Did I add something wrong? OK. So I'm going to put this underneath the dot camera. and We're going to start working on these together um, until I feel like you guys are confident enough to start practicing on your own.